The growing skills gap has prompted the government to introduce more initiatives to meet employers' needs. Working with more than 300 national companies is the AMRC Training Centre, part of the University of Sheffield's Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre. Marverine Cole visited the centre to see how educating students with real-world experiences is kick-starting valuable careers. Engine building isn't exactly what you'd consider a dream job, but it is for Lee. From an early age I've always been interested in you know, building Lego and stuff like that. I've not really been into dolls, so to build engines was really like up my street. Lee is on a unique and highly successful pathway, studying towards a degree at the AMRC Training Centre in Sheffield and working at Foxwood Diesel in Chesterfield, where she's already made changes. Because I was getting fed up of everything getting lost, you know, stressing me out so much, so I knew something had to change. We have this system at Foxwood uh, where the engine comes in, we give it an FW number, and then it'll go through the whole workshop and we'll know where it is and it'll be all located. Lee's father worked his way up from apprentice level into a business that's now 30 years old. Investing in upskilling your staff is about survival. In Chesterfield area, there is, there is nowhere we can pick up any skilled um, engine builders or such, or even the machinists, so we had to go more or less to train our own people. You just need that practical experience, you know, you just can't get that out of a book really. Approaching 1,000 apprentices have already embarked on the AMRC programme, which is part of the University of Sheffield, since the training centre opened in 2014. Over 300 firms, from small local ones to large global companies, have embraced this new approach, recognising the need to make a long-term investment in their future engineering and manufacturing talent base. We see a number of them walking through the doors when they first start with us at 16, very shy, you know, hard to engage with us. Um, by the end of the time that they leave the training centre and their apprenticeship programme, they're very confident, they're doing presentations to other potential apprentices. So those life skills are really important, as well as the practical skills. The AMRC Training Centre really does give students a head start in the manufacturing industries, with companies like Rolls-Royce, Boeing and McLaren. But what it also seems to do is accelerate the students' learning capabilities and their ambition. I want to get as much technical experience as I can. Um, so that's through learning and also work-based, so that I can pretty much just climb keep on climbing ladders if I can. Ideally, I'd either like to go into some form of research and development engineering, uh, preferably in aerospace. Each applicant must have at least five A to C grade GCSEs, and with up to six candidates for every one place, competition is fierce. Regular industry meetings ensure the curriculum is tailor-made. What we're trying to do is match the needs of employers with the needs of the young people. So it's trying to put those two together to give them the skills that they can go on and be really creative and productive workers, but at the same time not fixed in one skill, that they can actually do develop those skills as they go through their career. The AMRC Training Centre creates confidence um, and it's fantastic at being, bringing the young people through and they have a self-belief, um, which is wonderful to see in them. But it, it's that ability to think, OK, I can have a go at that, rather than actually saying, well, no, I've been taught to do that and that's all I'm allowed to do. They have this belief that they can expand and, and so they're willing to actually do many things. It's clear to see that the AMRC, globally recognised for using its exceptional research expertise to help manufacturers be more competitive, is now making a huge impact on the future lives of young people. It's a massive ad advantage to get paid while I'm learning at the same time. For students that are going to uni and taking other options, their downfall is that they'll be in so much debt and at the end of this I'm going to get the same, if not, more qualifications from doing the same thing. It might take a bit of a longer time, but who's going to be better off at the end of it? <laughs>